Hello everyone, welcome to the electronic circuit simulation using Samuel ID. Uh, this is uh, tutorial number two. In this particular session, we will study about the simulation of logic gates using the Samuel ID. So let us start the Samuel ID and see how we can simulate the basic logic gates and the other gates. So we are into the Samuel ID application. Now out of this three panel, we are only interested in the left and the center one. You don't need to do any program, so I'll just uh, maximize this one, this area. So, because we want to study the basic gates, so I'll just drag it down. And here we can see the logic gates. So, let us start with the NOT gate. So, I'll just select the buffer. Now, this buffer, this is actually a buffer, but uh, we want a NOT gate. So, what we do is left click here double click and here we can see there are three options try state invert output and open drain so i'll just click on invert output so it will work as a NOT gate this is the symbol of a NOT gate now for checking the working of this we need a power supply so what we do is in the case of here we can see there are various sources either we can use this fixed voltage source so we can turn it on and off now this is off if I click here, it becomes colored. It because it is on state. Okay, and then for this is for input. Now for output, there are various options. One is uh, the the most simplest is by using a probe. I'll just click on probe and select this probe. Now we we need to do the connections. So for connecting, I just click left click here and drag this and left click here, left click and left click. So this is the connection that's done. Now we'll run the simulation. So now this input is off now this input is zero so when we click here with this is output this it, it shows it glows so this probe is glowing with this particular it means output is high or output is one so input is zero output is one when i click here oh sorry i click this left side so this this is this is the, the, the switch so we can turn it on and off so now it is turned on so this is one and output is zero when this is zero this is one so this is how the NOT gate works now we stop this I can check for the working of AND gate so for that purpose again we come to the this AND gate drag it here now in this case we need again the power supply so we have in this case we need two power supplies one here and one another this is one so two inputs are there we need two power supplies and one single probe so this is the probe now we do the connections this connection is done here this connection do it here and this is okay this is the connection now we'll run the this particular simulation i'll just click here power the circuits so this both are zero zero for zero zero we get zero zero one is also zero one zero is also zero and one one is one so this is how normally a and gate works this is the functioning of and gate now i'll just stop this now we can if you want to check the NAND gate this is AND gate so to check the NAND gate I will just right click on the uh, sorry left click on this double click and here if I, I select the this invert input so now this particular gate is now have become a NAND gate so as you can see in this particular option of the logic gates we don't find any uh, NOT gate there is a buffer but we can convert this buffer to NOT gate AND gate is there NAND is not there but we can convert this AND to NAND by clicking on that particular option and similarly OR is there NOR is not there XOR is there XNOR is not there but we can convert we can get we can convert them so this is done AND and NAND so I'll just uh, I want to just remove this and I want to check OR gate so I'll just drag this OR gate here and then connect this sorry this is connected and then this is connected and then I connect this this is the connection now let us run the simulation I just put it at 0 0 I will run the simulation for 0 0 it is 0 for 0 1 it is becomes 1 1 0 it becomes 1 and 1 it becomes 1 so this is how the OR gate this is the OR gate now we can convert this OR to NOR I will just left click here double click and invert input and then we put make it as 0 0 and then run the simulation for 0 0 it is 1 and for 
0 1 it becomes 0 for 1 0 it becomes 0 and for 1 1 we get it as 0 so this is how the nor gate functions then let us check for xor i'll just remove this and then we come to this xor gate i'll just take this xor gate here now do the connections so this is a very simple and free software we can do wonders with this so this is the connection now let us run the simulation so 0 0 is 0 0 1 is 1 1 0 is 1 and 1 1 is 0 so this is the XOR working now let us replace this by XNOR so we just need to invert the input here so it becomes XNOR we start with for 0 0 run the simulation 0 0 is 1 1 0 is 0 0 1 is 1 0 1 is 1 and 1 1 is oh sorry I'll just take it 0 0 0 is 1 0 1 is 0 then 1 0 is also 0 and 1 1 is 1 so this is opposite of XOR so this is how we do the basic check the basic functionalities of the logic gates uh, on this simulation so that's all for this particular session thanks for watching